it's so encouraging to have this uh, very good group of representatives of a much wider group. And we were just meeting outside and trying to uh, reflect together on how much they are learning and capturing. As they said, they want to have their voices heard, but they also want to learn and capture ideas so that they can spread it with other friends. And I thought it would be very, very good for us to also reflect in relation to violence, how they see the phenomenon in their community, in their schools, how they are joining hands to raise awareness with other friends, how they have ideas to prevent violence, to raise awareness about it. And I'm sure they will have great ideas to do it. But before I give the micro back, because they are the really important people, I just wanted to, to say three things. The first one is that, as we know, and we said it a number of times this morning, the right of children to participate in these reflections, to influence decisions, to anticipate questions that we didn't think of, to show us the way, particularly in hidden and sensitive topics, as violence is. Uh, of course, uh, is a fundamental right that the Convention on the Rights of the Child has recognized. And I want to recognize the leadership of Belize in this regard, because in, in New York, in the General Assembly, when two years ago there was a discussion on child participation, it was the ambassador of Belize who was amongst the leaders in promoting a very wide reflection amongst all governments uh, on the issue. So I want to pay tribute to the leadership of Belize. Well, in Belize, as we know, um, violence is one of the major aspects and many children are exposed to violence and what children see, they do. So if we don't put a stop to it, it's going to be a system because it will just go on and on and on and on and and so we need to put a stop to it. I I find it hard to travel around Belize City because I know of different gangs, even though I'm not even affiliated with any of them. I don't even like being around people that have negative attitudes towards things. I find it hard for me to even travel around Belize City, my own city. I can't even go different places because I fear for my life of the gang violence. Uh, even though I might know people that live in different areas, I fear to even go and say and call them, go to their houses, even though they're my friends, I might have to talk to them over different means because I can't go anywhere around their community because people might think I might, because I, some people might know me and say I live at the south side, so I must be with these certain people. So I, I really do not like when they post on me and say, that is me. And it's hard for me to even know much about my country without even being able to see it. Violence is something very, very, very major in Belize City. When you turn on the TV and you go to the news, um, you always hear on the TV that somebody got shot or somebody broke into someone's house. And that is a, that is something, that is something like, that is something very upsetting to let young people watch on TV. Um, media is also effective on young people because what you watch on TV um, really affects you. Like, say a seven-year-old little boy is watching a movie that having a lot of violence with guns and, you know, those sort of things. Next minute, you see him putting up his hand, bow, 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 you know, those kind of things. Farm a little club or evening program to help out with the kids around the community because they don't have nothing to do. So they couldn't have nothing to do. They are run back to the streets and whatever the street, only the follow cars, the only choice they have, they have nowhere to turn. So if they have an evening program or a little club when they cross giant and stay active, then that might help around a little bit. Most young people are into sports, even the girls, you know, and if 
they build more basketball courts or make more football fields around our area, it would be much better for us because our minds would be occupied. We get to meet new friends and, you know, stuff like that. So I think that is something very important for us. Say for me, if I want to stay active, I would go fishing or play basketball or football with one of my friends. And even for a girl, just to make them stay off of the streets, go to one of your friend's house and gossip, because girls like to gossip. <laughs> Do anything to keep them off of the street. But still, because on the streets, there are bad influences. And like, if, uh, if a girl would go to her friend's house or a boy would go to his friend's house, they would stay out of the streets where it has like the most problems now because if you go anywhere in Belize today, you will need to have like a bulletproof vest or a bulletproof headband or something because every day on the news, somebody dies, somebody, somebody shot, shop has got robbed, something, rape, murder, kidnapping. Let's say a U group starts. It starts off good, but then it just stops. So like, first, your mind is occupied, and afterwards, you just go back to the streets because the group just stop happening. So with youth media, I hope that we continue and just don't stop. Just keep on going till we see a change. As we were anticipating before we started here, that this is not a voiceless group. It's a very, very knowledgeable and committed group. They don't want to be frightened in the streets. They want to be given opportunities to contribute to discussions, to join hands in organization of activities, and they want the activities and the clubs and the initiatives to be lasting. It's not only something that happens and then goes away. And I'm sure that over the next two days, there will be many opportunities to interact with young people, but we cannot do anything without them, that's for sure. So congratulations and many thanks.